Good evening, and welcome to the State Road A1A Resurfacing Public Meeting. My name is Marcus Lasicki, and I'm the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to present the proposed improvements along this section of State Road A1A and receive your input. We want to hear from you, and there are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to questions in writing, and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450946-1. That's www dot c f l r o a d s dot c o m forward slash p r o j e c t forward slash four five zero nine four six dash one. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida 32720 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located on State Road A1A or Ocean Shore Boulevard from north of Roberta Road to the Flagler County line for a length of approximately seven miles. The project plans to resurface the entire corridor to extend the life of the existing roadway and add pedestrian safety enhancements. Currently, State Road A1A from north of Roberta Road to north of Avalon Drive is a two-lane roadway with an 11-foot wide travel lane in each direction. There is also a five-foot wide paved southbound shoulder, intermittent four-foot wide northbound paved shoulder, and a five-foot wide sidewalk on the southbound side. In this section, the project plans to replace the five foot wide sidewalk with a 10 foot wide shared use path with curve and gutter along the southbound side of State Road A1A. The paved shoulder will be removed to accommodate the wider path, which can be used by both bicyclists and pedestrians. From north of Avalon Drive to north of Coquina Key Drive, State Road A1A is currently a three-lane suburban section with an 11-foot wide travel lane in each direction, an 11-foot wide auxiliary left turn lane, a 5-foot wide southbound paved shoulder, an intermittent 4-foot wide northbound paved shoulder, and a 5-foot wide sidewalk on the southbound side. 
The project plans to remove the southbound five foot wide paved shoulder and five foot wide sidewalk to accommodate a 10 foot wide shared use path with curb and gutter on the southbound side of State Road A1A. The final section of the corridor from north of Coquina Key Drive to the Flagler County line includes two 11 foot wide travel lanes in each direction, a five foot wide southbound paved shoulder, the intermittent four foot wide northbound paved shoulder, and an eight foot wide concrete shared use path. The roadway will be repaved in this corridor. No other changes to the roadway configuration are planned. Pedestrian safety is a significant element of this project. There are currently 12 locations where new pedestrian crosswalks are planned. They include at Sunset Boulevard, Kathy Drive, Sunrise Avenue, San Jose Drive, Sunny Beach Drive, Imperial Heights Drive, Ocean Grove Drive, Marlin Drive, Sand Dollar Drive, Ocean Air Terrace between Seabridge Drive and Sea Oats Terrace, and Bass Drive. Two other pedestrian crosswalks will be located at Michael Crotty Bicentennial Park and Seabreeze Drive. These crosswalks will include Rectangular Rapid Flashing Beacons, or RRFBs. These RRFBs are flashing lights that are pedestrian activated and give more visibility at marked crosswalks to alert drivers to pedestrians. The two rapid flashing yellow lights are mounted below a yellow pedestrian crossing sign. They remain dark until activated by a pedestrian wishing to cross. These RRFBs are flashing lights that are pedestrian activated and give more visibility at marked crosswalks to alert drivers to pedestrians. The two rapid flashing yellow lights are mounted below a yellow pedestrian crossing sign. They remain dark until activated by a pedestrian wishing to cross. When pedestrians come to the intersection, they push the button to activate the beacon. You can find the button on the pedestrian crossing sign under the look push button for warning lights sign. The lights located above will begin flashing to alert motorists of the pedestrian's intent to cross the street. Florida law requires drivers to stop at any crossing when pedestrians are visible. Stop when flashing lights are activated. Once the pedestrian crosses and is no longer in the travel lane, proceed on with caution. For more information about RRFBs and other safety strategies, please visit alerttodayflorida.com. Median islands are also proposed at Imperial Heights Drive and Sand Dollar Drive. These medians will not block any side streets. Drivers on Imperial Heights Drive and Sand Dollar Drive will still be able to make a left turn onto State Road A1A. This project also includes adding audible pavement markings along the North Peninsula State Park from north of Kingston Shores to the Flagler County line. The markings, similar to what is shown here, will be placed on the outside edge of the travel lane and in the center of the roadway where there are double yellow stripes to help alert drivers if the vehicle goes outside of the lane. Other improvements include lowering the speed limit from 40 miles per hour to 35 miles per hour from north of Roberta Road to north of Silk Oaks Drive and from 45 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour from north of Silk Oaks Drive to north of Coquina Key Drive. Speed feedback signs will be added to help encourage safer speeds along the corridor. Drainage, signing, and pavement marking improvements are planned. Also, lighting enhancements, which will include special wildlife sensitive lighting for the sea turtles. Design for this project is underway and is anticipated to be complete in summer 2025 at an estimated cost of $2.7 million. All work will be done within the existing right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in fall 2025 at an estimated cost of $15.9 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by March 25th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. 
All written comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-946-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Marcus Lisicki directly by email at marcus.lisicki at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-A-R-C-U-S dot L-I-S-I-C-K-I at dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Lisicki at 386-943-5542 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 450-946-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Monday, March 25th, 2024. Have a good evening.